Hi, my name is Dylan from Esri Canada Technical Support, and today we'll walk through how to upload tile packages and layers to ArcGIS Online. As more of our clients are starting to work with ArcGIS Pro, I decided to use this application for my demos. The concepts that I'll discuss are the same in ArcMap, and many of the tools are similar also. We'll start by discussing uploading a tile layer directly to ArcGIS Online, and then focus on working with tile packages and uploading those. So tile layers are great for fast visualization of large data sets that you don't want your end users to edit. Also a good thing to remember for tile layers, you probably should upload data that you don't want to update frequently. In this example, I'm using City of Cornwall imagery, but your tile layers can also be vector data also. So you can publish a tile layer to ArcGIS Online using Share Web Layer. So just like publishing a hosted feature layer, you need to add a name, summary, and some tags. Um, just make sure your layer type is selected to tile. If you click the configuration tile, this is where you specify the tiling scheme and the level of details that you want to build for the cache. It's usually a good idea to build tiles for the scale levels that work with your data. If you have data that has large scales, you may not necessarily need world level tiles, but you would probably need some neighborhood level tiles. So the larger the scale, the more tiles will be built. This is something to remember as tile generation cost credits. So in this example, I have some pretty nice data here. I probably want to keep it around the house level. And then the maximum or the minimum level of detail that I would want is probably around cities. I wouldn't necessarily need all the way up here. So you can see the estimated, oops, oops, the estimated cache size. So right now it's at 25 get, um, gigabytes. So this is something to note because when you're publishing, that's going to cost you credits. Again, this is the reason why in support, we generally recommend building a tile package and uploading it to ArcGIS Online, as that workflow allows you to build the, cat, the tiles using your own computing power rather than your ArcGIS Online credits. I'm going to show you two different options to create a tile package. So let's start with the Create Map Tile Package Geoprocessing Tool. So my input map, because I'm working with map one, this is what I inputted. Um, the output file, this is where you want to create your tile package. So this is the location I want to create it and the name, tiling format. Um, you can pick different options, but I chose the PNG and the minimum level of detail, maximum level of detail. So this is the scale level that you want to build for your tile cache. Um, so I pick 12 and my maximum is 21. So you can pick any number between one and 24. Again, you need a summary and you would need to tag uh, some tags and then you would run the tool. Once the tool is successfully finished, you would log into your ArcGIS Online organization account, go under add item from computer, choose file, city of Cornwall, TPK, Publish this file as hosted layer, so this ArcGIS Online will create the tile layer. Uh, sorry, the, yep, the tile layer for you. And you would add your tags, and then you would click Add Item. So just to note, my city of Cornwall as TPKX is quite large. It's over uh, two gigs of data, so this tool would fail for me. So. Um, the add item from computer, the, the tile package has to be smaller than two gigs for it to successfully work. So once the tiles are unpacked and hosted as a tile layer in RGS Online, you can verify the tile layer is working correctly and you can delete the original tile package so you don't have to pay credits to store it. But just note, if you're planning on taking your tile layer offline, you do need to keep the tile package in RGS Online. So as I mentioned, I couldn't do it through add item because um, my, uh, my tile package is too large. So in general, if you're going to build and share a large amount of data, Azure recommends to use the tile cache tool set. These tools allow you to create a tile package using your own projection, or you can use just the default ArcGIS online. So for the next example, I'm actually going to use the projection from the city of Cornwall. So if you go to properties and go to source spatial data, so here is 
the projection that the data currently has. So um, just to note about that, so when I upload the data and create my tile layer, if I'm using my own projection, um, my this is going to be seen as a base map in ArcGIS Online. The reason for this is you can't have your own tiling scheme sit on top of the ArcGIS Online tiling scheme. So the first tool you would want to run is the Generate Tile Cache Scheme. So input data source, so I just put in my city of Cornwall. Um, output tiling scheme is where you want to create the XML. Um, generation is new and then the number scale. So you can change this as you want. So maybe instead of eight, I want to do 10. So RGS Pro will automatically populate the scales for you, but you can change them to um, reflect the numbers that you actually want. So I'm going to leave this like that and then I would click run. When the tool is finished uh, creating the tiling scheme, you would go to your next tool, which is the manage tile cache. So this is where you would actually build the tiles. So you would have to specify the cache location where you want to save it, the cache name, and the manage mode, you want to recreate all the tiles. Input, again, is my city of Cornwall SID. And then this the input tiling scheme, by default, it'll be the ArcGIS Online scheme. Because I want to use my own projection, I'm going to import the scheme I just created in the previous tool. And this is where I would um, add my XML that I just created. Again, this will automatically populate because if you remember, I had specified eight different um, scale levels and my minimum and maximum were the following numbers. And then I would click run. When the managed tile cache is finished running, you would actually use the tool export tile cache. So this is where you actually create your tile package. So you would input your tile cache and then the tile cache location, so the folder you want to create it, the output um, the tile cache name, and then um, make sure the export tile cache as that you select either the TPKX or the TPK. So I'm just going to keep this one and then you would click run. You can also specify the area of interest, which is usually a good idea to do if you're working with data that is not square. Like if you have um, like a rather odd shape of um, data you want to publish as a tile layer, it's usually a good idea to do it area of interest. This way, um, a lot of the extra tiles won't be created outside of your um, shape. So for here, because it's not a perfect square, I would have additional tiles being created just this way. So I might want to specify an area of interest. So you could do this just by doing polygon. And then you would just go around. Obviously, you would do a much better job than I'm doing right now. trying to do this quickly there and then you would run the tool once the export tile cache is finished running I already know that the tile cache that I've created is going to be quite large so it's going to be more than my two gig of um, limit that we've discussed so the tool you would want to use is the share package so this is how you would upload your tile package that is larger than two gigs to ArcGIS online so you would input the tile package you just created in the previous tool add a summary add tags um, and then if you wanted to you could share it to a group directly share it to an organization and then you would run the tool. So depending on how large your tile cache is, um, this might take a little bit to, um, to run. So this is the reason why I did this <laughs> beforehand. So now if I was to go to ArcGIS Online, um, you can see that I have my City of Cornwall um, tile cache. So my TPK that it's uploaded. And I also have my tile layer that ArcGIS Online created for me. So if I was to click on it. Now, if you remember, I, I specified, because I didn't use the ArcGIS Online um, tile cache, I used my own tile cache. This is going to be used as a base map. So if I was to open this 
and a map viewer. There you go. And you can see now it's being used oh, as a base map. I hope these configurations helped you in your day-to-day -day job. Thanks.